Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started with our massive heavy modular frames factory. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> I've already uh, spent many hours uh, building the, the blueprints and kind of figuring that out, you know, at least the very basic setup of this. So our first order of business is to prepare uh, this area over here. So this factory is larger uh, than our steel production facility there. And so I've decided that I'm going to put it in this area here because it's going to pull the resources off of those belts that we still have available to us. And so I think to get started with that, I guess let's go ahead first and um, get rid of all of these rails. And I think we're going to have to probably expand this way a little bit too. I'm um, almost certain that we are going to need to do that. And uh, in that situation, I think what we'll do is we'll, um, let's go ahead and, whoops, let's go ahead and zoop out to another 10 this way, at least. I'm trying to get it to go to nine. There we go. And we'll, we won't worry about this side for now. But we uh, will we'll, try that again. Uh, we'll work on this side. Now, I'm also going to. I'm actually going to create a little side road going down this way. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, let, let's let's go ahead and go too wide with that. You know, just both for accessibility, but also to better delineate the two factory buildings. So we're going to run this all the way down to the end, at least to the end. Oh, I'm out of concrete. At least to the end of there. So let me go get some concrete. Oh, by the way, um, I've, I've got all the circuit boards I need for the adaptive control units and then some, but the automated wiring is taking a long time. So what I decided to do was um, just get set this one to do automated wiring too. And I have spaghetti going on here just because I'm trying to knock it out as quickly as possible. I ran out of cable, you know, from my normal storage. So I'm letting that recover and I'm pulling out um, wire and just making more cable here for now, you know, to kind of help boost that along. So that's what's going on with that. That's very temporary. Won't be staying there for too much longer. Um, I need to actually take this stuff down here. Yeah, we gotta we gotta build our cable back up a little bit. Okay, so let's grab um, actually several stacks of concrete because we're gonna need quite a bit of it for what we're gonna do, and we're also gonna want a decent amount of steel beams. Let's grab a few of those. Great steel beams. Yeah, that's that should be good enough for now. So we'll take this road all the way down and then I'll we'll stripe it up again. And this is, you know, just kind of like a, a side street, if you will. Going down our little factory city here. Our fledgling factory city. Okay, I I think we're probably going to even go a little further than this, but let's just go ahead and stop right here for, for the moment. Um, and, you know, we can obviously always expand it again later. Let's go to patterns. We want side dotted line. And... Uh, oh. Yeah, paint this in here. All right, now um, we're just going to put in a bunch of concrete. Now, I did make a blueprint. Oh, I guess I need to paint that too. I did make a blueprint for... No, 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 not that. I want this. There we go. 
for laying down these concrete foundations, but I ran into a problem using it. And it seems like it interferes with the placement of um, of water pumps. Uh, well, at least if... Okay, so here, let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's get right about here-ish. And we're going to get up on a lookout tower here. Okay. In fact, let's get on top of the lookout tower. There we go. Even better. All right, so if we go to our blueprints, and I go to... Right. Okay. I lost, I lost the folders that I made because when you save a blueprint in this game, the blueprint is saved independent of the game save or the blueprint itself. But apparently the folders are not, which is very odd. Hmm. That's a good thing though. I mean, cause you know, you wouldn't want to lose your blueprints, but I had a, a category and I named this one, um, this was all when I was testing everything, of course. Um, foundations and walls. And we'll just do a building for that. Apply. Okay, and then all of this stuff can go into there, including uh, this here. And where is my, okay, these are my storage walls, but these are specifically for the storage shed. So I think I'll keep those in there. And then all of these guys, um, which are all my blueprints for the heavy modular frames, we put in steel products, but I also made a subcategory um, that I think I called heavy modular frame. Okay, and then let's move that down there. And then we just want to move the rest of these also into that category. Can you select multiple? Oh. Look at that. All right. So I just did a shift click and select them all. Oh, I don't want the stators in there, though. Let's go in electrical parts. Fly changes. Very good. Okay. So we'll come back to these, but let's go to here. And I, I made a this concrete um, section here, right? And it, it works fine. So we can put it in. But I've noticed that if you put, it seems like if you put these in and then you take out portions of it, but not the entire thing, like delete parts of it, the entire framework of it still seems to be uh, around, if you will, even though it's not, and and therefore it doesn't let you place the water pump down. It's just really weird. Um, but we'll go ahead and use these, but I just need to remember when we get to the point where we're going to use the water pump, we need to, um, we need to delete whole sections of these. Just trying to get the other ones in without... Okay, yeah, we're going to have to reset here. All right, let me see if I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. Right now, uh, if I go to set down a, a water extractor, you know, I can just set it down in the normal way, right? And just put it anywhere out there, lined up, etc. Okay, but if I take and put down, let's do it in this corner here. So once again, see, I can set the water extractor down, no problem, right? Uh, but if I, if I then take and set my blueprint... Uh, section down 
like this. And then I end up deleting individual parts of it. Uh, maybe even to there. And then I go try to set this water extractor down. See, it it thinks it, the error it gives me, it says this resource is not deep enough, but that is not, of course, the correct error. Uh, I have to push it all the way past the end of where that blueprint was for it to set. And when I was first, you know, testing all this earlier off camera, I was like really confused as to why the game wasn't letting me put that down. And then it dawned on me that that's probably what it was. Okay, so uh, if we remove this, but we're in blueprint mode, it should now allow us to put the whole thing down again. Okay, yeah, so we, you have to move, remove the whole thing. So even though those individual tiles are were no longer there, they still kind of were, or at least as far as the water pump is concerned. Um, all right, so let's just stop right here for now, and uh, we'll extend this later as needed. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually start the corner of the building here. I want it to be in a little ways. Uh, so we have, you know, kind of a front area of the building. And I think two... I want it to be three back, but maybe just two uh, or one tile off the road. All right, so that means I want it to start here then, I believe. And we're going to build this out a little bit differently than, you know, the other building because we want things to be unique and different. And so we're going to use big metal pillars um, as the kind of main supports of the building. So pretty cool looking. Okay. Now, uh, next thing I want to do is let's grab another concrete piece and let's just set this uh, up. Oh, wait a second. Uh, why is that doing that? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to get up on a on a tower or a ladder here because I want it on top, of course. That's what I want. All right. Now we're going to run a, a border down that way and a border down that way. I always want to keep at least one tile of border between the machines and the walls of the building. Very good. What we're going to do first then is we're going to set our, actually our last machine, the, um, uh, what you call it, what you call it, the manufacturer itself. And you know what? Actually, I don't think I made a blueprint for that because it's just setting the manufacturer itself down. Right. Okay. So let's, let's put this here and then we're going to change it to a grip metal. And then we're going to do a 4x4, which is the same size as the Blueprint Designer floor. Now, in the center, um, I'm going to actually make this two tiles wide. Because we're going to have a lot of conveyor belts and things to, to run up and down this thing. Okay, we'll do another concrete there. And this is our first section. All right, so this is where we're going to set our uh, manufacturer. Let's go grab that guy. And we want to turn it this way. And let's lock it for a second. I think we'll bring it back to there. And uh, that seems right. Yeah. Okay. Let's lock it in place. And of course, it's going to be making heavy modular frames for us, which requires uh, five modular frames 
or 10 modular frames per minute, 30 steel pipes per minute, 10 encased industrial beams per minute, and 200 screws per minute. That's a lot of shit, <laughs> as you're going to see here. That's a lot of stuff. That's it's a lot more than it first appears. Good. Okay, now let's go over to this side. And um, let's see, I got one, two, three, four. Let's do one more here. And then that'll actually be the side of our factory down. So we are going to have to add some more foundation down below. Let's go to our blueprints. We're going to grab... Um, <clears throat> these are in the... You know, the ABC, all that business is kind of... It's basically in the order that I made them. So they're... They're not necessarily in the... Ex I'm not going to put them in order... The alphabetical order is what I'm trying to say. Uh, what I do want here is I want... I want the blueprint that's making the, in the encased beams. It should say main input encased beams. Main in right here. This one here. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this... And I'm going to have to step back here a little bit. Uh, right. That's correct. Okay. Right, let's lock that in place and then just slide it over. There we go. Okay, so these guys are making encased beams. I have underclocked them to, to each make five per minute because the manufacturer requires 10 per minute for of encased beams. Okay, let's do another border row here. And I'm gonna jump down. Now, there's a reason why this is here. It's to remind me that if I place down a splitter or a merger on the ground and, you know, build it up to get it up to a lift, I have to, I have to start it from here. If I start it from here, it'll be off. And that goes back to what I said, I think in the last episode where, um, when I start a new a series on 1.0, I'm going to always build with two meter foundations and not one meter because it's caused me some problems. And I didn't, I didn't really realize until after I had, you know, already started putting the blueprints together and I wasn't going to start over. So I figured, well, I'll just add these, these, these are just there to remind me. They're not going to stay there permanently to remind me that I need those. All right, let's do this. Let's go to blueprints and foundations walls. And we're going to add another section of our It sure beats zooping, you know, one row of 10 at a time, man. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you, you apparently can't zoop these, but that's okay. I'm laying down 16 of these suckers at, at a time, so it's still way faster than zooping 10 at a time. Uh, this one, I think, is going to be the modular frames main blueprint. So we'll go to steel products. And main input modular frames. Yep, that's the one right there. Okay. And we want to have the output here. I think that's right, but let's lock it for a second. Oh. No, 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 no. That's, that's got to come up. That was weird. Let's try that again. Main input modular frames. It's uh, there. That's what I want. It's, it was like burying down a meter in the concrete. Uh, I think that's it right there. Let's lock it. Double check. Yeah, that's it. It's a little bit quirky putting these in down below. I should probably, probably make it easier on myself if I just put up a lookout tower. Get that bird's eye view going. I'm going to run that over to there. 
Okay, so these are producing five modular frames each. No, no clocking at all, just default settings. Uh, but I do have a sign to remind myself um, where to put the screws and that we have a very high volume of screws coming into here. Um, 280 meaning that we need to use the Mark IV belt. Uh, so this is one of, I think, two places in this build that we're going to use Mark IV. Yeah, okay. We're also using the alternate bolted frame recipe that I have, uh, which takes reinforced plate and uh, screws. Okay, then we're going to put down our final main input blueprint. In other words, stuff that, that directly inputs into here. And this one does two together. It, basically, this one will do the pipe and the beams all in one 4x4 four four section. Let's go ahead and do put down a lookout tower here. Just be easier for us. Let's go to blueprints. We want to find... This is one of the first ones I made. Yeah, it's the, it is the first one I made. So heavy modular frames A. In uh, it inputs 200 screws and 30 pipes. Okay, so what? Now what the hell are you doing? Come on, game, you're killing me. I don't know why it's doing that. There, let's let's remove that. Oh, I'm out of concrete. That's kind of a weird... Uh, I don't know why it was acting like that because I was out of concrete. I should be able to still move it, but... Maybe that wasn't the reason. We'll have to find out here in a second. Man, we use a lot of concrete. Let's grab even another one, too. Okay. I want to check and see where we're at with our automated wiring here. Okay, we need we need to get down to this square here, and, and that'll give us fifteen hundred. Right, because this is eight, nine, ten. That's a wait. Yeah, so that's five hundred there and then well I think that's right <laughs> my brain just decided to take a break it does that sometimes uh, we still have quite a ways to go put it that way stuff takes forever to make I wish I would have saved what I had before but live and learn okay blueprints heavy modular frames a I don't know why the hell it's snapping like that. Um, let's get out of blueprint mode. Oh, there we go. Okay. For some reason, blueprint mode was giving me a hassle. Um, all right. I think we want to turn it this way. No. We want to keep it that way. Right. Because uh, the inputs are pointing towards the north where the conveyor belt is. And we'll just move it this way. Boom. Okay, so this one's very basic. We've got a smelter here that's underclocked quite a bit, producing 15.4 steel ingots per minute, feeding into this steel beam, um, which only requires 15.4 ingots per minute to produce 3.85 beams per minute, feeding then into this constructor making screws using my alternate steel screw recipe which I downclocked to 200 per minute. Uh, and that's where we get that weird number. So the numbers were kind of weird on this, but ultimately what we want to do is feed 200 screws per minute into the manufacturer. Okay. And then the pipes are even simpler. Um, this one is just using the normal steel ingot recipe producing 45 ingots. We have, uh, wait a minute. I think I might need to... I, I might have missed... Oh, no, we're good. We're good. 
because we have this machine doing 15 steel pipe and this machine doing 15 steel pipe. So both of them together are 22.5 times two, which is 45. So, so I did set this up right. Okay. That, that would have surprised me because when I tested this, it all worked. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So 15 here, 15 here, 15 times two is 30 steel pipes per minute. And that's what uh, the manufacturer needs. So those are our main input blueprints. All right now what we're going to do is let's continue extending our middle aisle down here. Um, okay, so this next section here is going to be our reinforced plates that we're making uh, for our modular frames. Um, so let's go here and steel products, reinforced plating. Okay. Yeah. So this one goes here. All right. Let's see if we can get it to. It's a real pain in the ass to try and get this in place because it wants to snap in all kinds of weird locations. All right, I'm going to flip it around this way. No, nope, don't do that. God damn it. Okay, let's just lock it there. You only have a certain number of nudges. That's that's why I'm... Okay, good. That'll let me do it. Okay, so these are making reinforced plates. that are feeding into here to make modular frames. Right. And then behind this, we have iron plates. So let's do another border, uh, border row here. Okay, so now we want iron plates. 90 iron plates, this one here. And, oh, geez, now I'm out of reinforced plating. Let me go grab it. Iron plates for the modular frames. And the game just completely crashed. That doesn't happen very often. Shit. All right, let's try this again. Blueprints, steel products, uh, iron plates. And we want the... I believe we want it to go this way. All right, let's lock it there. And bump it up there, and we're good. All right. All of these machines are making iron plates. They're all making 18 per minute, which I believe in total comes out to 90. Um, and those are being fed into the reinforced plates. No, that's the bolted frame. Oh, you know what? Um, yeah, this isn't right. We need to put the reinforced plates in here first. Okay. Uh, I did that before, but then the game crashed and uh, forgot. Okay, so let's take this back out. Okay, let's find our reinforced place again. Um, that's going to be reinforced plating for modular frames, right? Blueprints seem to be behaving better now, too. I don't know if that has something to do with the crash. But now they're now I can actually set them down the way they're supposed to be set down. So that was kind of weird. I don't know. 
bring that out to here. That can go there. Okay, now we put the plating down. 90 iron plates. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we'll move that over that way and pull it in this way. Okay, so these guys are doing 90 iron plates. And these guys need 30 iron plates, and we have three of them. So there you go. There's your 90. Um, okay, so that um had a couple notes there. Okay, next on this side we need to put our screws. So blueprints. We have um 260 screws. Make a lot of screws in this deal. And we do want, yeah, we want the inputs to be on that side. Let's pull it to right about there. Okay, so we have a, a foundry making 35.4 steel. Uh, using just the normal recipe and then I've got this uh, constructor making steel beams at 8.85 per minute feeding into uh, this screw machine using our alternate steel screw making 230 per minute and this screw machine making 230 per minute for a total of 460 screws per minute <clears throat> and then these screws are being used uh, to make the um, uh, the modular frames, and I think they're also being used. Yeah, they're also being used to use uh, make our reinforced plates. So, so basically, these screws are feeding both that setup and that setup. High quantities of screws there. I'm I'm really glad I have that that recipe too, that alternate recipe for that. Because if we had the normal recipe, we'd have to throw in rod machines on top of that, and this would be even larger. After screws, then we have beams. Okay, yeah, let's just start with this corner here. Blueprints. Um, okay, so now we're looking for beams... 40 steel beams. And these are feeding the encased industrial beams. That's what this is for. And that's exactly where we want it to. Let's just lock it right there in terms of its direction. So we have three foundries, um, all using the alternate solid steel ingot. Um, right. And uh, so they're taking in 35.555 for all three of them. Yeah, all three of these. And then they're just directly feeding into these constructors. They're, they'll all take 53, 332 steel ingots in because that's what these are outputting. And they're producing 13.333 steel beams out. All of them are doing that. And that comes to... Uh, is it, I don't know. I can't do that math in my head. 13.333 times 3 is about 40. And those are going to be fed all the way up to here. To make the encased industrial beams at 20 per minute. So yeah, it's like one ten thousandths of a, of a point lower, but probably won't matter. Not for a long time, if ever. Oh, 
Okay, good. Now, um... Now things are going to get a little bit different uh, here in terms of what we do. Let's keep going out with our middle row here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to set some foundries down uh, to use their alternate recipe, specifically the one that makes iron ingots for us because it makes more than the normal one. And we have water abundance, so we might as well use them. All right, so this is the north side, so we're going to choose the uh, north side refinery, which is this one. Yeah. Heavy modular. Yeah, north side refinery. Okay. This is basically just two refineries. Um, however, they are clocked kind of weird. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got to put another... We got to put another... Um, divider here okay so these are the north refineries and or yeah we want the input on this side let's pull it to about there uh, we want an out one because we don't want the ladder bumped up against the concrete and we want to bring it this way to right there because if we go further than it the front of it clips in. So that's exactly where we want it. Okay, this one's producing 58.25 iron ingots per minute, taking in this much ore and water. And this one is 53.25. Um, just hold that thought. Those are some weird numbers, but they there's a reason for it. Okay, now on this side, we're going to go to the south side refinery, which is this one. And this one has the pipe manifold attached to it, as you can see. And um, let's just pull it into maybe about there. Okay, we want to go back one and over one. Uh, yeah, one. Good. Okay, let's go down below here. These two refineries are just default settings. Uh, oh. I forgot to... Oh, you know what? <clears throat> yeah, I, I got to reload that blueprint and, and set those correctly. Um, I guess it doesn't matter for these, though, because these, these aren't configured in any way. They're just the normal default 65 iron ingots per minute. And I'm using the alternate pure iron ingot. So this is twice, over twice, as much as the normal recipe. The normal recipe only gives you 30 per minute. That's why I'm using these. All right. Now, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to pipe these guys in. And everything is beautifully lined up, as you can see there. Okay. I like it. Now, what we're going to do next is let's um, let's go back up for a second. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. So these guys are actually only using three tiles instead of the normal, you know, four by four that these other ones are using. And of course I will put rails around them. In fact, um, I'll fill this in too, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Now, on this side of the house, this is going to be our last one going out this way. And we are definitely going to need to put some more stuff down here. Um, in fact, why don't we go 
here, go to foundations and walls. Of course, you screw up on the very last one coming in. There. Um, I think we can do one more of these. We just have to, you know, keep in mind how, again, these blueprints affect our water pump. But as you can see, we're going uh, quite a ways further to the to the east from our other factory, and this is quite a bit wider than that factory too. This is our concrete production, and it's actually going to output here and run all the way down to the other end to the encased beams. So let's grab this. Ah, let's see. This is going to be one of the last ones I made. Yeah, concrete, uh, heavy modular frames F, and we are short cable. Let's go get some cable. Okay, let's grab um, concrete. Um, output is on this side, and we'll just slide that into there. This is very simple. We just have four constructors, all making uh, 12 and a half concrete per minute. That comes out to a total of 50 concrete between the four of them. Uh, which is the input we need 25 for each one of the assemblers up there for the encased industrial beams the final piece to this puzzle is the water pumps so i think what i want to do here is i want the water pump to be Kind of in the center of this area here. Or at least east west wise. So the question now is can I should be able to put it down like that. Let me let's uh whoops, no, I don't have a blueprint for that. You can't blueprint water pumps. Yeah, this should this should work. Turn it around this way. Um, but we do need to go out to here, right? And I'm going to line it up right on this seam, which is the halfway point. Maybe to about, I'm going to say there. That's close enough. Okay, that'll work. Um, now, let's grab a pipe and bring it down here. And it looks like it's going to line up there, but even if it didn't, we know it's right on the seam. Go back to and then pop that in there. Nice 90 degree there. Beautiful. Okay, now, we've got to do a little bit of math here now. Um, here's, here's what's going on. So these two foundries are producing the default 65 per minute. So they're producing 130 per minute, but this setup here needs 135 per minute, um, for the iron, for the iron plates in total because um, they're taking in 27 and there's five of them. 27 times five is 135. So these two can only produce 130. So just hold that thought for a second. Now these two are feeding ingots into these uh, refineries. 
They need 53.333, and there's three of them. Okay, so times three comes to um, about 160, right? Wait a second. Hold on. No, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I need to be looking at the iron ingots. Uh, that's why I was going to. Wait a minute. Uh, 35, 5, 5, 5. 35, 5, 5, 5 times 3 comes to 10665. Okay? Now, if we take 10665 and divide that by 2, that comes out to 53332. That's where we get the 53. Uh, what is it? 53332. Wait a second. Um, let me try that again. You're taking in 35555. All of you should be. 35555 and 35555. Times 3 is 106665. 106.665 divided by 2 is 53. 3325. Okay, so I actually need to bump this up a little bit then. 53, it should be 53.33 essentially. Okay. All right, now this one then is going to be 58.33. And then the extra five that this is making, we're going to send over here. So that way we get the total of 165 over here. I'm going to need to uh, reload in these blueprints and adjust that now too, because I did not have that correct. And that's, that's why we have weird numbers on here. Okay? Because we need a total of 106,665 and we have two refineries producing that so each so if you divide that by two it's 5333 but we needed to add an extra five over there and th so this one's 5833 hopefully those numbers make sense I know it's kind of brain scrambling but that's the way it works oh you know what I just realized I thought that damn thing was too far out yeah, we uh, okay. We got to pull this in. This is where we might run into a problem with the blueprint, though, because this is a blueprint piece. Both of those are. Okay, um, let's let's take that back apart, and we got to move. We got to slide this over a whole tile, um, and it's not going to work because of the blueprint thingy. So what we're going to do, yeah, when I said that, I'm, I was thinking to myself, hmm, that seems like it's really far away. <laughs> um, well, that's because it is. Well, at least it's, it's one too many tiles far away. So what we need to do is we need to remove these two blueprint pieces. And we're going to have to just just use normal zoop to fill these in. Um, otherwise, this won't let me move it over far enough because of I demonstrated that, of course, earlier in this episode. Looking damn good. All right, now we need to do some more math. These two are easy in terms of water. Uh, basically, this one takes 20, this one takes 20. So we need 40 water for the, that side. This one, however, needs 17.948 water. Okay, and we want to add that to that uh, to 16.409. Uh, plus 40 for the, the two on the other side. Okay, so 74,357. 74,357 is what we want 
the clock speed of this guy. There's a save. Seventy-four point three five seven. And it just rounds it up to 3.6, which is fine. 74.36. There we go. Okay. So now this water pump is clocked properly for these two refineries, or four refineries. Whew. Okay. That finishes setting the, the machines in place. Now we got to do all the hookups. <laughs> oh boy, this is a lot of work. Hope you guys can, you know, see too <coughs> why this took me so many hours to, you know, off camera hours to to figure out and, you know, and build these blueprints. I mean, I had to build the blueprints, had to do all the maths, and then I had to figure out, you know, the best positioning of each one of these blueprints in relation to the overall factory. And I don't know, there, there, there may very well be even a better positioning than this, but this is what I came up with, and it does work. We just have a lot of hookups to do before that happens. But, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, um, and we'll just resume. We'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode and just continue on because it's just way, way too long uh, to try and pack into one single episode. All right, so yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And before I let you go, let's just see how many of these we got. We're okay, we're on the last row. We just got to get to here. And then we'll finally be done with this project. Also, if you're curious, I've got 18 more coupons ready to go. Plus, I think I have two or three sitting in the box. All right, that's it. See you later. Bye bye.